Hurricane Ian swept ashore as Florida hits with catastrophic winds and rain. Hurricane Ian, one of the most powerful storm ever to strike the U.S. mainland, swept ashore in southwest Florida on Wednesday afternoon, bringing catastrophic 150 mph winds and a deadly storm surge of up to 18 feet. The moment of Ian's official landfall was declared by the National Hurricane Center in Miami to be at Cayo Costa State Park near the Fort Myers at 3:05 a.m. But the Category 4 storm, fueled by the warm weather of the Gulf of Mexico and estimated to be about 140 miles wide, had lashed the coastline for hours with its combination of pushing winds and surging flood water. Residential area in Fort Myer Beach and several other coastal cities were almost completely submerged. Buildings were damaged, and trees and power lines brought down. Across the state, more than 1.8 million homes and businesses were without electricity, and the utility company Florida Power and Light warned those in Ian's path to brace for day without power. Millions of Florida residents still lay directly in the cost hair of the storm. Which has expected to remain a powerful hurricane with gusts well above 100 mph as it continues on a path northeast toward Orlando and the Atlantic coast on Thursday. Pray for people, the state governor Ron DeSantis told reporters. There's some storm that really leave indelible impact. This is going to be one of those historic storm, and it's going to be shaped the communities in Southwest Florida. And have a profound impact on our state. This is going to be rough stretch, so we just ask people for their thoughts and their prayer. This is a major, major storm. Ian had already been blamed for several deaths and unprecedented flooding in Cuba, which was just beginning to restore electricity to region on Wednesday after a total whipped out of power on the island. Joe Biden promised the full support of federal resources for search and rescue mission. And then the recover effort in Florida, which official warn would be changed forever by the impact of the storm. We will be there to help you recover. We will be there to help you clean up and rebuild, and help Florida moving. The U.S. president said in an address from the White House, adding that his federal emergency declaration means thousands of National Guard troops had been activated, and millions of liters of water, food, and generators were on their way. Ian approached Florida after passing over Cuba and the Caribbean Sea as a powerful tropical storm, and building strength in the warm water of the Gulf of Mexico. Torrential flooding and powerful winds were captured in dramatic video posts on social media. More than 2.5 million people were under evacuation warning along the western Florida coast, although officials said an unknown number had chosen to stay and attempt to ride out the storm. Authority warned those who remained would be on their own because conditions were too dangerous for emergency crew to be out. The response from emergency medical service, fire, and police will be stopped," said Kevin Anderson, the Fort Myers major. So you know those who choose to stay put themselves in that risk. New anchors at Fort Myers television station winked had to abandon their usual desk and continue storm coverage from other location in their new room because water was pushing into their building near the Calostras River. Some broadcaster drew criticism for covering the dangerous condition in person. One meteorologist has been being hit by a flying branch. Ian was originally predicted to make landfall around Tampa. 120 mile further north, before taking a gradual turn to the south and east after moving way to Cuba. Ian is the first major hurricane to hit the U.S. this year, and the first to strike Florida since Michael devastated the state Panhandle in October 2018. Ian struck at landfall tied for its fifth strongest hurricane when measured by wind speed to strike the U.S. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.